Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man modified land with a double enemy squad size, yellow alert and a hundred different hardcore mods that make it a living pain to just go through the campaign. Today since you guys love Protect the Device missions so much, I figured I'll give the masses what pleases them, which in this case is a really, really tough mission. I also want to have the scientist, and I somewhat suspect that the hidden event will be bad. So we're going to give it an honest try. And since everybody is in the sick bay, we are actually bringing the A-team. And attention, Dilly G brings his man to the battlefield. We got Dilly G, we got Grell, we got Sona, we got Cannon, Euler uh, Cannon, we got Hogbite, and Russ is um, subbing in as the sixth one. We still haven't really figured out who the sixth one in this, uh, in this crew could be. Maybe one of the Psy operatives, who knows. Uh, that would actually be a really nice addition since uh, Grell already has a lot of healing power. Anyhow. With that team, we got some survivability. You will see that Sonar has dropped the shield for the Katana with his ability to now kill. The uh, Katana's uh, armor penetration will be fantastic. Reaper and Katana is a great cleanup. Grell, Cannon and Russ all have Death from Above, so all of the good Death from Above characters are in this uh, team. And we gotta play it safe guys i really don't want any losses in the uh, in the prime team this group is the lifeline of the campaign so if if this uh, team cannot make it then potentially none of our other teams can a complete colonel team lands and is going to infiltrate i'm looking forward to it okay we landed so let's take a good look First things first, we really just get a trooper captain. Nice. All right, what does this guy have? Untouchable. And covering fire. I like it, I like it. What else? Fire radiation grenade. Oh, radiation was that nasty uh, buff. And the guy has 28 hit points. Can I recruit him? No, seriously, could I just recruit him? He looks awesome. In all seriousness, he could be a guy that is leading kind of a low level group for us. Okay, so in between we still have quite a bit of terrain that we need to cover. Move into position. Dilly G takes the high ground. Cool. Our assault captain will take the point position. Since we had Carlos and Sanchez and Hermes in uh, this run, the captain is called Julio. And Julio is our newest edition. So he will hopefully... No, oh, no, I should have left Euler on the high ground. My bad. Okay, we can always get him back to high ground. I'll go quickly. Did we spot out someone? All right, Andromedon. Fair enough. Roger that. Sona moves up and... Krell with high, uh, death from above can position up here. All right, fantastic. By the way, I got the first Mimic Beacon. Just found out we had 
three corpses so I could create my first mimic beacon. It's about time. End game has hit and we have three faceless ones. So of course the prime team has the mimic beacon. Which means for once we do have the option to dis uh, distract fire. Okay, well shit, that already starts to burn. Let's hope that... <laughs> Let's hope that we haven't just instantly lost uh, the protect the device mission. Oh, but it's moving up. And is fully moving in. Sonar Double Time moves in. Our Advent Captain moves up. All right, we want high ground. And so, Tied to motor. better put Euler very much to the front. Ross as well. Dilly sprints in and last but certainly not least, Grell. Alright, so far so good. I mean, look, two turns, we haven't really done anything. 22 points of damage. That's a lot. Okay, gatekeeper is here. I do have an idea. Starting with that, then we're slightly, ever so slightly opening that, still all nicely covered, and thanks to Salvo, ooh, that's a good hit. Good, here we go. Here comes trouble. <laughs> nice hit. We're visible here. Yep. That's it. Daily G in the house. One shot, one kill, baby. Three nice hits. Unfortunately, we don't have the extended magazine, which would have been required to completely kill all of them. But what we do have is a nice little chain shot, which should uh, soften up the gatekeeper. Good, he's down to 10 hit points. That should be doable. Uh, that's not a kill yet.
Ooh, the radiation grenade. Yeah, we don't want to give the gatekeeper another turn, so... That guy needs to die now. Two screen rounds should be good. Good hook bite. Move forward, potentially pulls another pack. I don't care. Yep, bring it on, guys. Come on. Come a bit closer. Alright. He makes room for Grell. Who has blue screen rounds? And I want to finish. Gatekeeper Prime. Then next up. Three. Can we hit four? Potentially not, but hitting that boa is great. One guy already panicked. One guy died. And we need a kill in order to get some more focus. Triggering more packs doesn't matter. I do not give a damn. They only have one action anyways. damage would we deal 9 10 well that's not too bad and the drone would go down I will use Reaper next turn not this turn this turn what I would want to do is running and gunning going to here just dealing with that pathfinder for now Sonata's rapid fire. Very nice. Good job. And we're positioning ourselves here. So that the blade storm will kill the hunter drone. Could position us here to kill him with Bladestorm, but there's no point. Uh, we don't need to do that. Might as well just go over here. The Mamba is still a bit of a problem. So Euler will take an Overwatch threat assessment. And since we can't really do much more, how about we're just putting a Mimic Beacon down. Good 
because if not this turn I wouldn't know when exactly we were using a mimic beacon and moving to the hunter drone for a second blade storm attack the radiation has just killed this guy all right I think beacons are dying fast I was hoping that the mamba would first uh, get its shot and closer guys don't be shy wow he has these radiation grenades on a two turn uh, two timer cooldown that is awesome Cannon moves into a good position. Forgot a little bit about the overwatch shots, to be honest. Now that's a mutant. You never attack a mutant in melee. Rookie mistake. as well I am thinking uh, what the best course of action could look like let's take a couple of free hits here cannon Could clean that entire house if we de uh, deal enough damage beforehand. All right, Russ moves into full cover. We do not have shredding, unfortunately. But we can start killing the Mamba. Because Euler couldn't see it uh, from, its, from its current position. Okay, we can always move a little bit further back. Yeah, the problem is if we're moving, we're being poisoned, and that would really suck, so we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm trying to set him up from here. Didn't really work. Do 
good. That's three. I think the bishop attack is still the single best course of action here. That would deal enough damage to also kill the mutant demolisher. Alternatively, the specter, but I think. that one would be nice the problem is the mutant will not just stand by and get hit this one is good as well alternatively this one uh, we don't get the bishop down immediately, but we can get the purifier and the heavy. I think this here is a reasonable course of action. extra action how do we go about that um let's start with euler who can certainly kill some of them immediately right all right this guy here is going down takes too much ammunition so we got to conserve some of the ammunition sonar Well, Talon rounds are stronger than I would have anticipated. And he got a hair trigger and implacable. Well, in that case, implacable to here. Hair trigger. Really nice shredding. Okay, and what we could do and potentially should do is injure them and then uh, finish up as many of them as we can. Cool, so what we now need is... Teamwork. Into Reaper. This might lead to an explosion, but we have untouchable.
But let's throw a turret and uh, start softening these guys up. Oh, come on. That'll be a kill. We want to kill that elite specter potentially. Still got untouchable. Target eliminated. Moving up with Ross. Could move to here. Alternatively, we can just parry. We should be fine. Nice little hit. Untouchable? Untouchable. Yes, baby, untouchable. Okay, one thing that I can say, the Prime Team definitely functions well. I mean, this is a difficult mission and still we're going through it without sweating a lot. creates untouchable and we can always continue moving somewhere else I tell you what good old uh, good old kill zone Russ moves up. Fantastic hit, I love it. Here I come. Hop right into the bishop who of course has sustenance, but I don't care because we're just standing right next to you with Blade Storm. Ha ha ha. Reload Overwatch with that captain. And our turret. Tries to hit the enemy. Free reload. And. That is a Dilly G special through two win windows of the train. Oh yeah, and hair trigger. Boy, is he on point. I'm trusting you here. Moving over here. And Dilly G gives another special for 15. Go 
because we're positioning ourselves right in front. He has lightning reflexes? You're kidding me. Untouchable, baby. Still. Alright, and we got uh, some loot. Oh, apropos loot, I have fixed the um, visuals, as you may be able to see. It, one of uh, our viewers has told me how to modify the, the loot preview. So that's not going to happen anymore. And I think we're done. Nice. Well, we succeeded on a protect your device mission. There you go, guys. You've seen the power of a fully equipped prime squad. Don't get cocky. That was a quote unquote normal mission, but not one of the hardcore missions. We we're quite lucky to get a uh, to get a drop on the enemies and actually eliminate them quite um, quite fast in the process but against 35 enemies like we had in uh, a few missions ago also this team would definitely struggle i mean there is no other way uh, than to struggle through those missions so let's not get cocky we have eliminated one faction three of the chosens and there are at least three more factions left over that we need to royal rumble and a couple of rulers, not rulers, uh, yeah, the alien, uh, the alien rulers. At least, well, the snake escaped. Two other rulers, so the Berserker Queen and the Archon are still alive, and uh, that ultra hardcore mech, the mech ruler who we installed. So, at least three more rulers, potentially four more rulers, and they will always come back with full health. Oh, but still doesn't like Russ too much. Good, we got quite a few corpses, and we covered sto uh, we countered Stone Age three out of three. The same issue that we had beforehand. That would have uh, cut all of our energy. Very good. So we got a bond available, which we soon can take for our prime team. All of weapons are soon done as well. Yeah, and the prime team is out of commission for a few days. Which sucks, given the fact that I really wanted to invade one of uh, the facilities. Good, we got another ranger. Golden Boy joined us. And this is for our C team. The one that we are now training. The Expendables, as they are called. Golden Boy needs a promotion. Bladestorm, welcome, yes. And uh, Blade Master, sorry. And Shadow Step. But we also have superior willpower because why not? I will not use it on anyone else, so might as well take him. Welcome to the team, Golden Boy. Good to have you. Then secondly, Bubble can bond with Hayward and should do that. And 
Our skirmisher can bond with Wilson a second. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. So we have lightly wounded four days on sonar. So in four days we can theoretically go and uh, do that mission. And with that mission, I mean infiltrate one of the facilities. And wait a second. The actual important question is, what do we want to train next? So for the low level team uh, teams, we do have everything kind of below a uh, bubble. Grenadiers, one, two. Okay. We got Rangers, one, two. We got Specialists, one, two. Well, I got to include Haywire as well. Sharpshooters, one, two. We got two of each. Which kind of means I will go for... I will go for another Assault and then another... Ah, let's use another Grenadier. Can always use one more of these. Jimmy Vince is just starting the training. I purchased a couple new viewers, so hopefully uh, we can play with them. Spice it up a little bit. Look at that Warlock weapon. Fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. Disrupt the rifle. And we got enough alloys and enough valerium. So only six days for the plasma lands. That is absolute fantastic. The disrupt the rifle will be a huge upgrade, and our main specialist Grell is going to have them. There you go. Really nice weapon. Wondering if I should give her a heavier armor. I wanted to uh, give them the armor, um, uh, the Icarus suit, but we need to kill rulers for that. Okay, a couple of uh, things. Implacable. Because we have started to hand down our weapons. Superior repeater, superior uh, sight. Very good. So we're just handing down uh, the weapons. Since I'm, I have assigned fixed weapons to people now. Superior repeater, superior scope is actually better, so I would... I like the idea of hitting way more than just the crit. The crit is almost automatical. Repeater and laser sight, and here we got... Superior laser sight, superior hair trigger. I think that's better. Alright, we have a couple of really good guns here. Which means Golden Boy, our new prospect, uh, immediately gets a pretty decent gun. Congratulations, my dude. Okay, we can do that. We can do that uh, once the mission is about to start. For now, we're fine. Yeah, that's not really good. Oh, much intel. We have 14. We need more intel. That was the last thing that I did before we, uh, before we got distracted.
Just double checking. I think we still have three days, right? Whom are we missing? Maximilian Richter. Okay, so the moment that he is back, we will start the invasion, but that will happen after the supply drop. Furious Cleansers. Okay. I guess we're going to start an, a mission to rescue. Oh yeah, I remember. We also wanted to uh, locate the headquarter. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's see how far are we in. We're 40 minutes in. Yeah, I think that's this going to be a separate uh, mission. We've not played that uh, so far. So we're going to do that the next time as we're rescuing one of our uh, own. And if the mission next time is a bit uh, shorter, then there is potentially going to be an invasion to a facility. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in two days. Bye-bye.